Hi guys, welcome back to RS Cockroacher. For those who are familiar, you are probably have looked at many of our videos for indoor bioflock aquaculture. However, we have also applied bioflock in the earthen pond setup, which is what you see over here. So this is actually a one acre pond running on a bioflock kind of uh, production methodology. So are there a lot of difference between running bioflock outdoor and versus at indoor? In this set video, we'll be talking about the differences in the setup and some of the treatment. So stay tuned. Welcome back guys, for those who are new to our channel, we actually produce weekly content with regards to bioflock technology using uh, with shrimp farming and do like and subscribe so you can get the weekly notification because we will usually release a Friday video on the evening period. So back to this week content. So for those who are, uh, you probably have realized when you're running indoor bioflock system, one of the key differences is the sizes. So the tanks that we have over here is actually about 100 cubic meter. And most of it uh, will be pros, will be placed under a roof. And you can see it's a very compact kind of production. In the indoor setup, we would prefer to use what we call round tanks that look like this. This is because of better mixing. Uh, all the bioflock can be well mixed and even pumped out to any subsequent filtration system. And this is the key differences when you're going to do it in an outdoor setup. Because outdoor ponds will typically be usually... Um, square or even a rectangle uh, usually rectangle is the more popular option so when you run bioflock in these setups what tend to happen is that you have a lot of sludge that will tend to accumulate in the middle and this is probably due to uneaten feed feces and even uh, it can be built up of bioflock as well which turn into anaerobic sludge so one of the ways that we do it in the indoor system is to use uh, what we call a filtration system that looks like that this is for our biggest unit uh, so for those who are familiar this is used for 100 cubic meter unit and the smaller ones is using for our 20 cubic meter unit and you can see the amount of sludge that's just pulling out from the system however if you were to implement this on a pond scale at the moment there's not a lot of these filtration system that is applicable to be used on a pond basis so a lot of those sludge will tend to accumulate in the middle of the pond which will need to be frequently removed right at the end of the at the harvesting cycle and this is also evident for for those who are very familiar from the shrimp industry you can see that most of the construction does not have any sort of filtration system they will typically have what we call a retention pond in which some of the water containing a little bit of the flock will be pumped to and it will be uh, retained there for for example for a few days and allow for overflow and this is actually very similar to to a lot of designs out there where it is common to have a retention tank before flowing out into the sea um, this is to allow the settlement or the flock to settle up before discharging the water and um, it is commonly practiced however due to the scarcity in land costs many of those retention ponds are slowly being converted not to not for water treatment not for removing the sludge but instead used for water storage because if you will have to now because of a lot of disease pressure people will have to pre-treat the water before using so as a result they will just directly discharge a lot of that water uh, containing a high amount of bioflock which in in our experience will tend to pollute some of our coastal line so this is a discharge effluent from some of the shrimp farms that are based in outdoor condition without a settlement pond so this is actually you can see the the impact on the environment it actually pollutes a lot of environment because the discharge is very high in what we call bod that will cause eutrophication right so uh, hopefully we give you guys a bit of difference uh, understanding between the indoor bioflock system versus the outdoor uh, and for those who are new to our channel, we actually produce weekly content with regards to shrimp farming and market farming. We hope you guys enjoy the content and hope to see you back again at Rasa Culture.